Well, welcome to a new episode. In this episode, we're going to look at children's duties. As I started thinking about this, I started thinking about my own parents. How did I treat them? And quite frankly, I want to go back and apologize to my parents. You know, why was I so difficult? <laughs> I could have been a lot nicer to them. And then what do I do now that I'm a parent? So as a parent, I see what my parents went through. So how can I raise godly children? How can I raise good, moral, happy, healthy children? And then what's the children's side? What am I teaching them to do? What am I teaching them to be? So, you know, what's the children's duties? And what's my duties as the father, as the parent? So I'd like to explore some of these areas today. <laughs> How do we raise children? What are the children's duties? Let's learn together. Verses about children's duties. Colossians 3.20. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this pleases the Lord. Deuteronomy 5.16. Honor your father and your mother, as Yahweh your God commanded you, that your days may be long, and that it may go well with you in the land which Yahweh your God gives you. Deuteronomy 27, 16. Cursed is he who dishonors his father or his mother. All the people shall say, Amen. Ephesians 6, 1 through 3. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, with a promise that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. Exodus twenty twelve, Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land which Yahweh your God gives you. Leviticus 19.3 Each one of you shall respect his mother and his father. You shall keep my Sabbaths. I am Yahweh your God. Proverbs 1.10 My son, if sinners entice you, don't consent. Proverbs 6.20 My son, keep your father's commandment and don't forsake your mother's teaching. Proverbs 8.32-33 Now therefore, my sons, listen to me, for blessed are those who keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise. Don't refuse it. Proverbs 10.1, the Proverbs of Solomon. A wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish son brings grief to his mother. Proverbs 13.1, a wise son listens to his father's instruction, but a scoffer doesn't listen to rebuke. Proverbs 15, 5. A fool despises his father's correction, but he who heeds reproof shows prudence. Proverbs 20, 11. Even a child makes himself known by his doings, whether his work is pure and whether it is right. Proverbs 23, 15 to 16. My son, if your heart is wise, then my heart will be glad, even mine. Yes, my heart will rejoice when your lips speak what is right. Proverbs 23, 22. Listen to your father who gave you life, and don't despise your mother when she is old. Proverbs 23, 24 to 26. The father of the righteous 
has great joy. Whoever fathers a wise child delights in him. Let your father and your mother be glad. Let her who bore you rejoice. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes keep in my ways. Proverbs 28, 7. Whoever keeps the law is a wise son, but he who is a companion of gluttons shames his father. May God add blessing on the reading of his word. And now for our new modern expression. This is the idea, spare the rod, spoil the child. And I don't think this means to physically beat children. I've never thought that that was right. So I, I like to think of this as the rod was used with sheep to direct them in the way that they should go. So this is more about disciplining children, you know, directing them in the way that they should live. So this means you need to change a child's behavior and attitude by the use of correct punishment and discipline. And this comes from Proverbs 13, 24. One who spares the rod hates his son, but one who loves him is careful to discipline him. Spare the rod, spoil the child.